surfing session 147 and 149, 19 months into surfing. I'm surfing in Costa Rica in the warm Pacific Ocean. I went on two intermediate surfing sessions to Witch's Rock near the Santa Rosa National Park. We're on vacation and I'm celebrating my 50th birthday on this trip. On the first session, um, I had great waves offshore winds with glassy A-frame waves, perfect for surfing. I had the time of my life surfing for three straight hours. All the hard work for 19 months with my surf training was all worth it. I felt like everything just clicked in on this trip. I was able to connect bottom turns and top turns, and I even had a few successful cutbacks. My instructor from SurfX was a man named Jairo Jair Perez. He was great. He is a competitive surfer and has won the Costa Rica national title when he was a teenager. He competes internationally too, and told me he recently surfed against Ken Kelly Slater. On the boat ride to and from the location, I asked him so many questions about surfing. How to position, paddling, pop up, how to do bottom turns, top turns, and cutbacks. It was just hel so helpful for me to have a pro surfer answering some of my questions. He told me he's never had a student ask so many detailed questions as I did. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> What really clicked on me, uh, what really clicked for me today was the twisting motion to connect my bottom turn and my top turn. I would compress low and lean as well as twist on my bottom turn looking to the left, for instance. Then I would extend into the top turn on the wave and release all that energy as I twisted and leaned in the other direction with my gaze looking back at the beach or back at the white water. It felt awesome. Here are a few key learnings for me from my instructor. For positioning, uh, look at the white Christmas tree in the ocean and position at the top. He kept me paddling everywhere, in, out, left, right, to just be at the sweet spot. On paddling, I need to keep my head up, arch my back more, and keep my feet pointed back. Uh, on my pop-up, he wanted me to pop up quick at the crest of the wave and stay low and bend my knees rather than standing up straight. He told me that my arms were twisting well, but he would like my hips and knees to twist more. He also told me to get a surf skate. I told him I already had one and I'd been practicing my turns at the skate park as part of my surf training. On one wave, I was going right on a bottom turn. As I executed my top turn, I lost balance and the board came loose and headed straight towards my face. Luckily, I had my GoPro on my bite mount and it protected my teeth. Otherwise, the vacation would have been cut short. <laughs> There was no crowd, it was just Jairo, another student, and me, until two boats later arrived to join us. But it's a beach break, so there are many peaks to choose from. The National Park impedes visitors by land to this beach, and you need to get this, to this location by boat, which thins the crowd out. Also, Jairo told me that a lot of surfers were, would wait for much larger conditions to make the trip here. On my actual 50th birthday, I went for my second three-hour session at Witches Rock. We saw four whales on the boat ride over. Good, good omen. The conditions were great. The forecast had larger waves and offshore winds, and conditions were clean. I had kept my GoPro on the boat as the waves were larger, and I'd wanted to focus on surfing. But I, had, I have several pictures to share. Uh, Johan was a photographer on the beach who took these great pictures of me. I had a great time. I was popping up and dropping in well on medium-sized waves. My turns felt good. I had the energy to surf and paddle around for three hours. My surf training over the last 19 months really paid off, and it felt great to be able to surf waves like this on my actual birthday. Thank you to Jair Perez and Alejandro Quiros from SurfX. I learned so much. Thank you to Johan Solorzano from Witches Rock Surfari for these beautiful pictures. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it and want to wish me a happy birthday, please click like, comment, or subscribe. If you've been to Costa Rica or plan to go there, please comment below. This is part of my surfing progression series on YouTube, and I continue to work on improving, so please share any friendly tips for me. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear from you.